This is a USB Type-C device. And if I plug in this USB-C to C cable, nothing happens. However, if I use a USB-A to USB Type-C cable, well then, it charges. Well, guess what? I found not one, but two cable combos that solve this problem. Chuck two minutes on the clock, check this out. A USB-C to micro USB cable. And if I add this micro USB to USB-C adapter, I now have a USB-C to C cable, which works on devices that usually don't. Mate, if you're like me, this just blew your mind. Like I get USB-C devices are meant to negotiate power requirements and that this action camera simply doesn't. So I had to look into why this cable combination works. Seems there are resistors on the tip that goes into the charger and on the tip that goes into the device. On one end, the resistors trick the power supply into thinking a device has asked for legacy five volts because an old micro USB device couldn't ask it. And on the other end, it tricks the device into thinking it's been offered five volts by an old legacy power supply. And so when they're joined together, it just works. <sighs> this has haunted me for years. Like I've only bought power supplies and power banks with type A ports for devices that don't charge properly over USB type C. And now you're telling me that cable combo two has been in my drawer this whole time? I read this tip in a Reddit post and the thread also pointed out the same goes for what's known as a legacy adapter. You know the ones for plugging a USB key into a USB-C phone? Well, I never considered plugging one into a charger. Sure enough, when combined with a USB A to C cable, this has the same resistor combo and it just charges. I can also plug my phone into either cable combo as the resistor tells it to not pull more power than a legacy power supply or cable can handle. With a legacy adapter, a USB 3.0 cable hit about 11 watts, and the initial micro USB cable combo also hits around 11 watts. I just can't believe I was never told explicitly that this works and is safe to do. There we go, that's the two minute tip. A uh, couple of disclaimers, obviously use your own risk. If you buy cheap cables that have the wrong resistors, then there could be issues. I also only get USB 2.0 data transfer speeds with my combos on hand. Finally, these are directional. So if you put the wrong end into each device, nothing will happen as the resistors just confuse them. To see my next custom tech project, which I've been 3D printing for weeks now and required solving this charging problem, hit subscribe below the like button. I'll link the exact cable combo that I bought down below. And if your USB-C port is loose and falling out, then check out this video as we'll most likely solve it. Thank you for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye.